Hey guys, it's Leslie with The Social Launch. Today I'm gonna to show you an easy way to put a free download onto your website, as well as do a really simple sign up form so that people can actually sign up for your free download. And the reason that I have a free download on my website is to help educate people. I want to give people lots of information, different checklists and guides and things to improve their social media. And also then you can keep in contact with those people, keep sending them email newsletters and keep that relationship. So it's a great way to keep in contact with people. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So whenever you're deciding to add a freebie, some sort of download to your website, what you need is obviously a website. So this is a WordPress website. I believe you could do this on Squarespace or like the free site builder, but this is what I use as WordPress. And what you need to do is first create your download, which you can do in Canva. There's a really cool ebook program called Designer. Um, so you have to actually have your content. And then what you wanna do is add the media to your library. You could also store your downloads if you are doing a lot of things. I believe Amazon, there's a place to do that. So once you've created your download, so let's say you use Canva and you create some sort of checklist. Then you want to go to your media library, you wanna add a new um, document. So whether it's a guide or a checklist or whatever, so you just wanna add a new media library download so you'll see here, this is my latest PDF download. And then you need this URL. So this is something that you're going to need. So you just wanna copy and keep that on hand because you're gonna need that link. So this is my PDF. And you'll see here in Canva that I just went and I created a little graphic. Now you can do whatever you want, but this is just what I do for my forms. So you have your content download, you have it uploaded, uploaded to your media library. Now the email service that I use is called Active Campaign, and you can do this similar thing in MailChimp. The only reason I started using Active Campaign is because I found that I really liked their um, funneling abilities. So you can create different automations, different forms, things like that. So you'll see here that I have all these different lists and forms. So this is one of my forms and we can just go here to edit it. But what it looks like is if you actually look on my um, website on one of my blog posts is I have this form. So this is the graphic that's in the form. It says what the form is. You put your name, email, submit and then you get this free download with this 50 creative social media post ideas. So how I created that was I created a list in Active Campaign called creative social media post ideas and then I just added a form. So I added this graphic, I added this text and you can do all of this easily in here. So you can add, change the styling of everything and then on submit, you can show people a thank you message. A lot of times I direct them to a special thank you page. And then you subscribe them to the list. You can add tags and things like that. And then you simply hit integrate and you add this embed form to your website. And it pops up like this, which is awesome. So anyone that comes to this blog post can sign up and get all of these post ideas and it's in a PDF gives you lots of good ideas they can still read get all this other information all these other resources and then I have another download which I don't know if I should have two different ones on the same page but I did it um, you could get these blog headline ideas so this is a different form and it subscribes them to a different list so once you've integrated your form to your site you can actually create different automations and things like that in Active Campaign. So if you go to the automations here, it just makes it really easy because you have to set this up one time and then anyone who's signing up for this download is just an automated series of emails, which is really great. So you'll see here that I have a few different automations set up in Active Campaign. 
and it's just loading here. So you'll see here that I have this opt-in 50 creative. So this is the automation for anyone who opts in on this form, the one at the top, the creative post form. So for this form, anyone who opts in, they get put into this automation series, which means they actually get um, the double opt-in, which you need for the spam laws. And then once they confirm their email address, then they get sent an email saying, here's your um, 50 um, creative social media post ideas. So when they submit this form, they get tagged, you can create a tag, then they get this email with the download. Then I have it waiting for two days. I send out another email just did you check it? Because sometimes I know for myself that I'll sign up for something and I don't end, ever end up downloading it or I forget. So this is just kind of a reminder email. Then I wait for a couple days and then they enter this other automation I've set up that's a welcome um, automation. So that just welcomes people, tells them, um, gives them some different resources, tells them some information, and then it just ends this automation. So they've got their checklist or their um, social media post ideas. They get kind of familiar with who I am and then the automation stops. They actually get put into um, my main newsletter area. So that is the steps for creating a form on your website that looks like this. And again, you can use MailChimp. There's a couple different programs you can use to use this, but active campaign, super easy. Um, I believe it's $9 a month, but you can create all these funnels, all these automation, different campaigns, different newsletters. It's very easy to use and I would highly recommend it. So that is how you set up your form on your website. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial today. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below and thanks so much for watching. If you are liking these videos, make sure to subscribe and you will be sent out a notification whenever I post a new video.